To get some insight into Myanmar's economy, we went for a spin with one of its entrepreneurs, a car salesman. How much are you selling this car for? Uh, 17, 70, yes. Yeah. 70, 70,000? Yeah, 70,000 wow. US dollar, yeah. That's nearly five times the price you'd pay for this car in the United States. It's because there are still so few cars in the country. Demand is outstripping supply. Plenty of profit here and excitement too. So, uh, I don't miss uh, this chance in changing our country. Small-scale entrepreneurs are fueling a booming economy in Myanmar. Their skills were honed during years of military repression and economic decline. Everybody has a shop, uh, is a broker or whatever, uh, because they, they, they have to find something for themselves uh, without employment opportunities. Now the challenge will be, like in the future, uh, a lot of uh, these businesses cannot continue or are no more competitive. So for them it's more difficult um, uh, to survive uh, in this uh, competitive environment. That competitive environment now threatens to subdue local business and fierce foreign competition is just one problem. Property prices and rents are now so high here that they rival New York and Hong Kong. Yes, New York and Hong Kong, it's hard to believe, but local businesses say that they've now had to move out of prime locations like this one. Good commercial property is hard to find and even harder to finance as foreign players move into this relatively virgin market. Mien Ten has been running tea shops in the city of Mandalay for nearly 20 years, but he says he wouldn't dare invest in them now. I am worried because the tea shops need good locations. When we have a good location, we earn more money. When the companies take the good locations, they will kick our tea shops out into the small streets. The opportunities of Myanmar's economic liberation are not in dispute, but local business people worry about their role in all of it as more and more foreign firms and capital continue to flood in. Paula Newton, CNN, Yangon.